night, don't you remember? What if I don't? Who are you? I own the place. The bastard that sent me the notice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, listen, I don't want to make things hard on you or anything, but uh, me and the wife, though, we ain't looking to be landlords. Oh, you're not? No, no. The idea here is for uh, me and the wife to keep the whole house to ourselves. Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Big, too. Yeah, well, actually, what I'm looking to do is turn the downstairs into a bar, and and uh, we're going to live up here. A bar? Lovely idea. Yeah, well, it's been on my mind for a while now, seeing as how the street's got all these businesses on it. I Will you be to... serving food? Food? Yeah, I don't know, maybe some sandwiches or something. What? I didn't get to the point yet. The point is, I'm looking for you to vacate. I don't want to make anything too uncomfortable for you, so it doesn't have to be right this minute. You know, a couple of days will be fine, maybe even a week. Aren't you the generous soul, Mr. Vizzalo? I'm just trying to be fair here. Let me tell you something. The fact that you bought this fire trap from that prick Mahoney tells me, above all, you're stupid. And if you think you're going to come up here and throw me out, you're even dumber than you look. Now, I got a wife in there expecting a kid. So in spite of your stupidity, I'm sure you'll be able to see that I'm not exactly in the mood to be thrown out on the street by some dimwit two-bit Italian who fancies himself a restaurateur. He's here. <laughs> Our loving protector, Mary. <laughs> what, you come to inspect the fucking damage, Vizzoli? Hey, settle down, pal. Oh, Vizzoli, you know, I meant to ask you something. It's about your figure. Your girlish figure. You reminded me of something. I couldn't think what. Hey, look, pal, uh, look. No, no, but now I know, I know. You're a sausage, Vasuli. <laughs> Don't you know? Don't you see what I mean? Short on the top, short on the bottom, and packed in the middle like a fucking sausage. Hey, hey, look, I got news for you, pal. You're moving. And I got news for you. You smell like a fucking garlic bread. Just stop it. Oh, piss off. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. She's your type. Huh, Settle down, pal. Oh, you want a piece of her, do you? Well, may it please you to know that this lady belongs to me. From here down to here. And all that's in between. <laughs> oh! oh. want to be responsible for breaking the law and dispossessing me. Well, that's fine. I'll see you in court. How do you like this guy? He ain't taking no one to court. You know how expensive that is? But if you want to be responsible for harming a pregnant woman and an unborn child, then you'll have to harm me too. And that encounter will surely prove fatal to all of you. Oh, come on. Give me a break. What about that? Yeah, yeah, here. Here, come on. Oh, she's having it. Oh, my God. Hey, oh. listen, you'll be okay. Right? I'm going to help you. Okay? It hurts. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I need you to get me sheets, towels, anything. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to be okay. Hey! Oh. 
Maybe I should go up there, huh? Yeah, maybe you should. We'll stay down here, you know, in case you try something funny. That's me. Something, isn't it? In the kitchen of the home in which I was born. That's beautiful. Huh? You ready to meet Daddy? Yeah. Uh -huh. This is uh, oh, a little, little dirty, I guess, huh? Yeah. It's not uh, dirty, just, just looks colored or something. You may detect vaguely quizzical hey, looks on the faces of those who were present. That's because it was immediately apparent that, in spite of having been born of two white parents, I seemed to have been made of darker material. Hey, to her. 